to begin here. Uh, welcome to this Chattanooga FC women's broadcast. Uh, I'm El Conductor. I will be your camera person and your occasional commentator here for the game this afternoon. Um, where we're all set to kick off, where the uh, Chattanooga FC women are visiting the Memphis Lobos. suburb of Memphis, very nice and green and clean, and a good place to live, unlike Memphis weather. But today we're going to bring you some really good soccer, so you won't uh, be caught up in the urban sprawl of Memphis, Tennessee, and instead you're going to enjoy, hopefully, another victory by our Chattanooga FC women uh, as they lead the Southeast Conference. And actually, with a win today, Chattanooga FC women will be uh, locking up the uh, conference title and guaranteeing a berth and a uh, hosting in the, uh, or a likely hosting in the uh, playoff round. So, uh, hopefully, we'll bring home that victory, as we said. Now, mathematically, Memphis is still in this, uh, in the hunt for the championship. Uh, but to them, they have quite an uphill road to go. They would have to win every game, and Chattanooga would have to lose every game from here on out in order for uh, the Lobos to tie Chattanooga. So we're all set to begin here. I'm going to hit the record button, and we are ready for kickoff. Here we go. Memphis taking first possession. Holding the ball around midfield, trying to bring it up. Far side there. Memphis in white today. Chattanooga FC in dark blue. Memphis bringing it up the wing, trying a cross. Oh, goodness. Mishandled there. Oh, early goal by Memphis. Here we are in the uh, probably the first minute. Uh, just a uh, easy pass into the box. Mishandled by Chattanooga goalie. Exactly. Think I would have to be doing that this soon. So I'm gonna do two things at once here. Again, we're at about the first or second minute, and uh, Memphis has already gone ahead with a goal. You'll bear with me. Actually, I'm just gonna zoom the camera back a little bit so I can do two things at once. by Memphis here on the near side. bringing up in the midfield. Oh, I need to pan a little bit more. Sorry, folks. I'm still trying to make sure that I've got everything situated. Throw in Chattanooga. Yeah. 
Ryan. Turnover. Memphis coming, taking it down to the side, trying to get past the Chattanooga defense, looking for the cross. Goes back to the top of the box. Chattanooga dispossesses. Memphis having a, most of the possessions here so far. We're about the fifth minute. And Memphis has already taken the lead. Tried to push it ahead there. Retain possession. Oh. Number 13 for Memphis. Trying to get to it in the corner. Couldn't quite get it. Couldn't quite save it. Back to the Chattanooga keeper for the goal kick. Buying it up here. No real options in the back backfield. She's going to try to boot it down to midfield and see if we can get a possession. Memphis wins the header, but oh, she saved it. Still in bounds. Back to the near side here. Trying to push it up that side. Pass wasn't really on the mark. Throw in for Chattanooga. Another about the sixth or seventh minute here. The score is, as you can tell, Memphis 1, Chattanooga 0. Still very early. Most of these contests, you don't expect that a 1-0 one, a one lead this early is necessarily going to hold up. Especially with Chattanooga having such a good season so far. Getting lots of points here. And they do sit atop the conference. So you'd have to expect that they're going to get some pretty good chances before today's over. Chattanooga with a deep throw in here. She's probably going to try to put it into the box. Or thereabouts. And there she goes. options there. Memphis clears. Chattanooga trying to keep the pressure on, but Memphis looks like they're going to collect it and just try to push it back up through the midfield. Boots it up ahead. Nobody really waiting for the pass. Whether or not Chattanooga can keep it in, she does. Oh no. Well, the flag has come up. That was out on Chattanooga, so Memphis will get a deep throw in here. Trying to keep the pressure up on Chattanooga. Ref backs him up a little bit. Out on Chattanooga. Another throw in for Memphis. Chattanooga pushes it ahead, no one really there at midfield. Let's see if the defense can keep it away from Chattanooga. They do. And now Memphis is going to try to set up. Let's see if they can get some offensive opportunities here. Again with that near side, trying to get past. And she loses the handle on it. Oh. Misjudged that throw in. Chattanooga still keeps it, Carly. Thanks, 
Got it, but he's dispossessed. Hard to get past two defenders when you don't really have an outlet there. Got a Nuka challenging a lot in the midfield now. Hopefully the team's waking up a little bit after that early goal by Memphis. And again, we're in about the 10th minute of this game. Memphis with the near side throw in at about midfield. The Lobos have looked pretty good early. Oh, that's a good chance, but uh, the wind uh, kind of made it sail a little past number seven. For Memphis, that's going to be a challenge to throw in. I uh, don't have any ball girls on that ball. Far side, it looks like. They're all over here on the near side. <laughs> Might want to send one over to the far side. See who can get there. Oh, Chattanooga's got a clear better than that. Or is they going to give up another easy goal? But fortunately for the Blues, no one was really in possession for the easy putback. That ball pushed ahead. Chattanooga's going to let it go out. Goal kick. side, booted ahead to midfield. Back to the keeper. No real options on that far side. So she'll push it up to the defense, see if they can get it ahead. Memphis put some uh, early pressure on Chattanooga here. Not really uh, conceding much room. Chattanooga's really having to fight for some options. No real space to work with. Again, another turnover there. Memphis pushing ahead. This is a, a decent chance. Turned away by the Chattanooga defense. Cleared out. No, not quite. Just skied it. Didn't really get it out of there. Corner for Memphis. Our first corner of the game here. easily. So now we're going to have a throw in. Number 11 for Memphis. Trying to get that cross. Almost. Space here, finally. A little bit of space in midfield, trying to push it up. Oh, this time that pass. Now Memphis on the attack, pushing it up ahead. No flag up, but just a little bit too much. The goal is able to come out and collect it. Chattanooga throw in. Oh, we're about the 14th, 15th minute. Uh, a little bit difficult for us here. We don't have a, uh, a running game clock here on the field, so we're just sort of uh, going by our watches. So you at home are probably in the same boat we are. Actually, you're in a little bit better position because you have a scoreboard. We don't even have the uh, benefit of a scoreboard. Or at least one that's 
it's operational. There is a scoreboard here at the field. It's just uh, not being operated right now. Cross in for Memphis. Pushed ahead, pushed away. Chattanooga. Memphis still going to have an opportunity here. Trying to get some space. Chattanooga turns it away again and finally clears. Uh, Memphis tried to go down that far side wing. Too much oomph on it. It's going to go out. It's going to roll around the track for a little while because, again, don't have any ball girls on that far side. Have three over here. We're still waiting for the ball to get collected. I don't know if you at home know, but there are no ball girls on that far side. I don't know if we've mentioned that yet, but uh, just an interesting bit of trivia here. All right, so now after making the long trek back, Chattanooga is going to do the throw in. Bounces off several Memphis players and goes back out. We're going to have another throw in. But guess what we're going to have first? That's right, we're going to have a small hike after the ball because, again, no ball girls on that far side. They just don't do that. that uh, don't do it that way here in Memphis. Chattanooga with the ball after that throw in, trying to get it passed uh, again off Memphis. Oh, line judge helps out. Pulls in double duty as line judge and ball girl. So there you go. There is a ball girl on that side. She's just wearing red. All right, back in the midfield. Memphis again on the attack. Trying to go up this left wing. What we'll call the ball girl side. Oh, she's trying to push it ahead. Chattanooga bats it away. And takes possession of it. Memphis still pressuring there. She's going to boot it ahead. Doesn't look... Oh, no, she might be able to run this down. That's right. She got to it. Pressure two men on her. She gets it away. Good pass. Bringing up to midfield. Out to center. Got some space. Pushing it ahead. Vigorously ahead. Not really a Chattanooga play, player in position there. Oh, but we wind up to it off of an errant bounce. Chattanooga with its first real chance of the game. Trying to get some space. Oh, she goes down. Sorry, I got a little bit of carried away. I might have panned up just a little bit past the action on that. Wanted to make sure that if she shot, you got to see it go in the goal. Oh, but she got taken down by two defenders. No call by the ref. Probably wise. Memphis with another chance. If she can get around the defense. Woo! Just wide. Not, not sure if Cosette got a finger on it. I guess she did because it looks like they're <coughs> excuse me, it looks like they're lining up for a uh, corner kick for Memphis. Second corner kick of the game. <coughs> excuse me. And here we are in the generally about the 18th minute. Our score is 0 to 1 in favor of Memphis. As Memphis lines up for the uh, corner kick in the far corner. She pops it in. Chattanooga tries to clear, misses, but does eventually get it out of there. Carly Banks bringing it up ahead, pushes it out to this near side. Again, pushing ahead. Good teamwork here. Good passing if she can keep it. Oh, lost a handle. The flag goes up. Oh, that's a shame. Ball just got away from her here on this uh, on this hot turf. Throw in for Memphis in the backfield. Pushes it ahead. A little bit of pressure by Chattanooga. Memphis swings it out to the far side. Looking for some options. Looks like she wants to boot it ahead. She's gonna. And Chattanooga intercepts the pass but pushes it out. And now it's Memphis's chance to uh, enjoy a brisk hike to the ball on that far side. The ball girl less side. Unless you're wearing a red jersey. Memphis bringing it here to the near side. Trying to push it ahead. Chattanooga intercepts. Can she keep it in? She can. She pushes it ahead again. All right, Chattanooga in control now. Trying to get some space. Oh, a little bit of miscommunication. 
wasn't sure when she was going to pop it ahead. Didn't have the run started yet. And the Memphis keeper easily collects that one. So Chattanooga's going to try to do a little bit of pressure here, see if they can get Memphis to make a mistake. Memphis pushes it out to that far side. Got to be careful when you push it out to that far side because if that ball goes out of bounds, well, you can guess what's going to happen. You've just wasted 30 seconds because there are no ball girls on that side. But she navigates it, pushes it ahead. Oh, goodness. Good chance. Good chance for Memphis. She might have pushed it ahead as well. I think they're going to give it to her as a uh, as a corner kick. Say it was off Chattanooga. So we'll see yet another Memphis corner kick as we enter the uh, generally the 21st, 22nd minute. spectators because we are watching the game. But, uh, but some lady who just wandered in the This with the uh, corner kick here. Low one. Chattanooga's going to easily push that one outside. And Memphis will let it just carry out with the wind. We'll take their throw in. She pushes it into that corner. Trying for the cross. Oh. Going to push that one out to the side. Entering about the 23rd minute. Maybe 24th. Again, we don't have a, uh, an accurate call here in this field. And it throws it into the top. Puts it out. Set their offense. Try to draw Chattanooga out a little bit, see if she can get past her. Try that cross. It's in there, and Cosette is able to collect that uh, medium speed shot. We'll give her some credit there. That could have gone in. Cosette and Rochette go on, though. Back out to Chattanooga. Bringing it up the middle. On this near side, the ball girl side. This is the side that uh, the ball came up when it was scored. Oh, there you go. See that? Now that's what I'm talking about. The ball went out of bounds, and guess what happened? The ball kept going, but a ball girl threw a new ball into the game. This is, this is amazing, what we've just witnessed. It's incredible, people. I tell you. We need to get some of that in Chattanooga. Up ahead. No real connection on the part of Chattanooga. Memphis is able to take possession here, bring it back up towards midfield, pushing it out to the uh, exciting ball girl side there. Well, anyway, as I was saying earlier, on this near side, that's the side that uh, uh, Memphis brought it up originally when they did that score. Uh, well, they were kind of in the middle as well, but the action just seems to go so much faster on this near side as we wait for yet another ball that has been kicked out. Oh, wait, no, we have some action here. The Chattanooga goalie is going to get one of her own reserve balls that she keeps behind the net, feeding that out to the side, and now we can resume play. Look at that. You know, being up a goal, this might be a stalling tactic by Memphis to, to just pull all their ball girls to this near side. Maybe eat up a half hour of play just in uh, all the balls that are going to go out on that far side. Chattanooga bringing it up, maintaining possession here. A little bit of pressure from the defense. Gets it past her. Looking for options. Oh, going to push it ahead, but the defender got a foot on it. Now Memphis tries to return the favor. Going to bring it up. Retains possession on that near side, but dispossessed afterwards after the kick. Back to Chattanooga. So we're seeing a lot of good... Um, possession by Memphis here where they're really they're bringing it up they seem to be getting a few chances Chattanooga really hasn't had anything decent so far um, 
also when Chattanooga has had the ball, Memphis has just been very close, very up on the uh, ball carrier, um, taking away a lot of the angles and options. So we'll see what adjustments Chattanooga can make later. We're waiting on another throw in from that far side. We're here at about the 25th minute. Memphis leading 1-0. to zero. Pushing it ahead. A little bit of a challenge there from the Chattanooga defense. Goes out. Memphis throw in. Yeah, good luck getting that ball back anytime soon, madam. Yeah, there we are. Oh, oh, the the line judge is just saying give it up. Just we'll we'll play without a ball. We'll we'll go. It'll be imaginary. Don't worry about it. Oh, but she she refuses that. She needs an actual ball. That's the way some people do it. So she brings it up. She's fetched it. Now we're back gonna we're actually gonna play again. Here we go. Memphis throw in. Again, no ball girls on that far side. Three ball girls on this side. Very unbalanced ball girl alignment from Memphis today. Pushing it ahead on that far side. Gets it over the Chattanooga defender. Oh, but the flag comes off. Comes up. She was offside. Uh, and the ball is technically on the field. So we'll just take a breather while... Chattanooga goes over and cleans up that extra ball. If only there were someone that you could put on that far side whose job it was to manage the extra balls. If, if, somebody, if somebody at home could like write in the chat any suggestions you have for how we could manage these extra balls, that would be great. Apparently, we have no clue over here and how you could address that problem. Oh, we're going to take a little bit of a water break. It is hot here. We are on turf. Very blistering temperatures. Um, well over 80 degrees. So we're going to take a little bit of a hydration break. We are at the minute in this first half here in Memphis. Slight breeze coming through. As I pan around the field, see our Chattanooga FC women over there and getting some instructions from Coach. No, no, here she, uh, see, we spooked her. Now she's coming back over to the near side. She should really stay where she is. And then, if you'll notice, way over there. So we're going to break, taking up instead of the position on that far side. Taking away my ability to mock them for not having a ball girl. So, we'll see what inspiration that gives to the teams in just a moment. Looks like everybody's had their uh, water break. We're going to resume here pretty soon. And we're doing a near side throw in here for Memphis. Got to go collect, pushes it away, trying to bring it up, trying to maintain possession. Nope, she's going to boot it ahead, and let's see what happens. Try to get a little lucky here. See if it'll bounce right for Chattanooga. She pushes it ahead. We're going to try some pressure here. Oh, Memphis, Memphis is just too tall there on defense. These ladies are able to just sort of pluck it right out of the air. A foul whistle. Now Memphis is going to get a free kick. Push it ahead, one bounce, high. She split the defenders, popped it over the, the goalie. So we're now at 0-2 uh, for Memphis. Really good start for the Lobos here. Bit of a hole that Chattanooga's going to have to climb out of.
Chattanooga takes the kickoff here for uh, after the second goal. Nearing the 30th minute, Chattanooga is down 0 to 2. A rare position here. Uh, typically, Chattanooga hasn't been uh, on the receiving end of too many of these goals earlier this season. Now, in the preseason, they did give up a, a few goals uh, in some of the earlier scrimmage matchups and uh, in the bounce against the University and National City Swimming Club. By and large, Chattanooga has had a very stout defense, so what we're seeing today is a bit unusual. Chattanooga's going to collect here. The goalie's going to try to boot it ahead to midfield. Memphis is going to stop it. Oh, nice little serve to herself over. Going to try to pop it over the goalie. Not so lucky this time. But uh, still, more pressure. And Chattanooga not really able to manufacture much offense at this point. So you've got to be encouraged if you're Memphis because you are uh, putting it to the number one team in your conference. Uh, also, I've noticed that the score doesn't seem to be exactly correct, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out again so I don't have to pan as much. I'm going to see if I can get that graphic working. a few things at once, plus monitor that ongoing ball girl situation uh, as Memphis brings it up past midfield, going to try to get some chances past Chattanooga here. Chattanooga intercepts that one. Can she keep it in? Flag goes up. That's out. Going to be a throw in for Memphis. Up ahead, Chattanooga fighting for it, trying to push it away. Grabs possession, pushing it ahead, far ahead, a little too far. Then it's going to collect, push it back to the goalie, try to reset here. All right, I can see now I've got that graphic up properly. You're now seeing the accurate score. Um, but hopefully I'll have to make some changes to that pretty soon as hopefully Chattanooga will get on the board. Far side, Memphis trying to get around the corner, see if she can put in a shot. Or, I'm sorry, a, a cross there. Didn't quite make it. Chattanooga was able to deflect it. So we're going to have yet another Memphis corner. Well, Memphis has really had the run of play so far. Um, most of the pressure has come from uh, their offense. Uh, most of the mistakes, unfortunately, have been courtesy of Chattanooga. Not a good combination for the blue. Uh, Memphis sub there. Uh, number one in for uh, some other person not wearing number one. Boots it in on the corner and Cosette Marche collects the corner easily. Wait for the teams to go up and pooch it ahead here. Out near the center H. Oh! Bit of a mishandle there by Memphis. Gives it up to Chattanooga. But Memphis is able to challenge, disrupt him a little bit. Chattanooga's trying to maintain possession, and they do. Going to kick it back, try to reset, push ahead. Defense back. Boots it back out to Chattanooga. Chattanooga on the far wing, trying to set up, get some offensive options going. Pushes it ahead to number 11. Farley Banks, I believe. You know, my eyesight isn't very good, so for a while, I think I'm just going to call all of the forward players Carly Banks. Uh, cross ahead, pretty high. Morche able to come up and snag it out of the air before it becomes dangerous. So she's going to roll it out to that far side. Chattanooga looking for options back and forth here. To the near side. Up the line. Memphis intercepts. Chattanooga retains possession. 
Slowly that ball's coming out into midfield. Memphis grabs it. Chattanooga not, not that quick getting on the Memphis players once they lose possession. A lot of times you can make them turn it, turn it over right back to you if you if you can show a little bit of hustle, but I don't know if it's this temperature or just the unfamiliarity with this field, but Chattanooga not doing a lot of challenging here early. Uh, we're at about the 35th minute. Score 0 to 2 in favor of Memphis. Uh, we have a goal kick, Moshe. Chattanooga sub coming in, number 34. Moshe lines up for the kick, swings it out to the far side. The defense brings it up, pushes it in the midfield. Oh, turnover there. Now Memphis has it and they cough it right back up. So Chattanooga will reset here. Come up this near side, Memphis challenges again and takes it away. Chattanooga tries to intercept, causes the ball to be pushed back, but Memphis has enough space, they can kind of get away with it. Waiting for Ch Chattanooga pressure. Turnover there, Chattanooga trying to swing it out. Oh, interception. Memphis just getting in the right place at the right time, having some good opportunities here. Flag goes up, offsides. Hard to tell when that pass began there and where she was. But, flag comes up, offsides. Chattanooga will take the uh, free kick there. Morche comes up to about the uh, 30, 35. We'll see how far the ref lets her go with this. Maybe she can walk another 80 yards and just kind of boot it in the net. This one's probably going to go down deep near the box. Memphis heads it away. Good header there by Memphis. Good defense. Chattanooga trying to retain possession. Heading it out. Oh, coughing it up to Memphis. But Memphis generously gives it right back. Chattanooga trying to hold on to it. See if we can get it to somebody in position. She's going to back it up. Doesn't like her options. Here to this near side. Boots it ahead. Oh, those tall Memphis defenders not really letting the Chattanooga offense get set there. Yeah, that kick ahead. It's gonna be a tough that's gonna be a tough strategy to execute on this tall Memphis defense. But Chattanooga does have the throw in here. We'll see how deep she can get it in there, if she can get it in the box or if she'll try to push it out a little bit high. See if Chattanooga can generate some options that way. Get a running start here. Coughs it up into the box. Oh, dangerous ball there. Got headed down pretty, pretty low, pretty, um, pretty quickly. If Chattanooga had, had somebody in the right position, of course, there's no way you can guess where a ball is going to bounce like that. But if it had been a good bounce for Chattanooga, somebody had been in position, that could have been a, a goal there. All right, Memphis brings it up ahead in this near side. Up to the top of the box, pushes it too far. It's going to be an easy one for Cosette Marche. As she boots it back out to the defense. About the 39th minute here in Memphis, Tennessee. Collier's here in Tennessee, for those of you who enjoy Google Maps. Chattanooga trying to get a little bit of offense going here. Uh, Memphis playing pretty stoutly so far. A couple of defensive breakdowns on Chattanooga's part have led to both of our goals here, uh, both of their goals here. Their, uh, them being Memphis. You get what I'm saying. You can see the scoreboard on your screen. That's a benefit we don't have here. Memphis takes it up down the far side. Trying to bring it back in the middle. Nope. Cuts it back out to the angle. See if she can get a cross in. But she pushes it too far. Uh, the defender basically just rode her out of bounds so that she didn't have an angle. Uh, she stayed with the ball trying to squeeze it around the defender. Couldn't do it. It rolls out. So now we have goal kick. 
Chattanooga. Chattanooga bringing it up the near side. Trying to keep it in, got bumped a little. Let's see how the flag is going to go. Possession for Chattanooga. Throw in. Looking at her options here. Big throw in ahead. A little too far, actually. Oh, Memphis. Where else? Can't quite control it. Got a flag up. What are we going to see here? Oh, foul on Chattanooga. Well, trying to generate a little bit of offense. She might have uh, kind of shoved her down a little bit. Trainer or somebody might come over and check her out. She looks okay. Uh, free kick for Memphis. Goalie's going to take it again. She lines it up. Doesn't look like she has a lot of options near, so she's probably going to pooch it down there. Up to midfield. A little bit of a battle for it here on the Memphis side. Oh, Memphis grabbed it. Memphis bringing it up ahead, trying to get through the traffic. Errant pass up to Chattanooga. So, Chattanooga now takes control. Trying to do the same thing, pushing it through the defense, not quite. Pass was just a little slow, allowing Memphis to grab it. So now Memphis is on the near side. Challenged by Chattanooga. Out on Chattanooga. Throw in Memphis. Bit of a struggle. Chattanooga comes away with it. Let's see if they can hold on to it a little bit. Maybe get a little bit of room. Push it ahead. A little bit of space here. Chattanooga having some options. Oh, right place at the right time. Number six on Memphis. Just got a foot out, intercepting that pass. Otherwise, we would have had a scoring opportunity. Chattanooga again. Seem like they're getting their legs under them now. Oh, no, we've called a foul. So that's going to be a uh, free kick for Memphis. Or offsides. Maybe it was offsides. I was looking down at the clock so that I could tell you it is about the 43rd minute. Memphis now with the cross a little too strong. That's just going to bounce. No, she gets it. She's going to try to bring it in, but Chattanooga intercepts. So now Chattanooga brings it up. Popping it ahead to the far side. Have some space here. See what we can do. She's gonna, a little bit of room to operate. She's going to push that, that long ball in there. Header to no one. Sorry, I got a little excited. I pushed the camera past the action. I expected that connection to be made. Not quite. Back to Morse. Morse, sorry. She just clears it. Up ahead to Chattanooga. And now Chattanooga trying to work it up through the midfield. Turnover, possession, Memphis. Puts it up ahead on the near side. Chattanooga clears it out. 42nd minute, 43rd minute, somewhere in there. Going to have a throw in for Memphis. Down on the Chattanooga side. See where she goes with it. Pushes it up. Mishandles it. Kicked out by Memphis. Throw in for Chattanooga. Uh, well, we're happy you were here with us, watching us here on the Chattanooga FC Women's live stream. Uh, we want to thank our. Um, live streaming sponsor. You can see there on the graphic, uh, Realtor Sheila Cross. Uh, she's generously sponsoring the CFC Women live stream this season. So if you're in Chattanooga, you have some real estate needs, then give Sheila a call. All right, Chattanooga with the possession here in midfield, trying to get some action going. Oh, a little too much. Pushed away, Memphis has it. A little bit of a fight for it here in midfield. Handball, but was it called? It was. He was going to let the run of play 
go for a bit, but then decided better of it. Free kick Chattanooga. Ref giving some instructions of exactly where he'd like that ball placed. So Chattanooga is going to put it ahead to the top of the box. We swing the camera over. Another tall Memphis defender heading it away. Chattanooga trying to maintain some possession. Giving themselves some options here. Two people in the same area. Probably not a good idea on the attack. Memphis able to push it out. Making Chattanooga restart this offense. She boots it up ahead. Two defenders come forward to grab it. Pushing it up ahead. Now on the counter attack. Oh, a little too strong on that. It's going to go out of bounds. And I'm going to pan the camera down so you can see that. All right, ahead to Memphis. Three on one. Well, one on three, really, if you, if you, if you count the offense as the first number. Ball out of bounds on the far side. Now, we are having to wait a little bit, but not as much as normal because look over there. That's a ball girl, folks. Yes, they moved one to the far side. So now we didn't have to wait nearly as long. See how, see how easy life is? Chattanooga pushing it away. Memphis retaking possession. Far side looking for options. Crosses it into the box. Tall header. No control on it though. It just kind of skips away. But Chattanooga is going to allow her to have it. Well, that's because she was offside. You can have it all day long when you're uh, five feet beyond the uh, second to last defender. If the ref is paying attention, I guess. So, Cosette Morche will take the goal kick here. Or, actually, it's a free kick because it was a uh, offside. So, Chattanooga's now going to push it ahead on this near side. Lots of pressure by Memphis. They are not packing it in. They have a 2-0 lead, and they aren't sitting on that lead at all. They are they are pretty confident here that they can maintain a good defense while putting pressure on Chattanooga, and it, so far it's working. As Chattanooga is dispossessed, and Memphis tries to bring it up. Memphis not seeing any options, going to push it back to the defense. Chattanooga getting aggressive, trying to cut off those extra passes. So Memphis will swing it to the other side. Whistle for, I'm assuming, water and hydration, or was that the, uh, oh, no, that's our 45th minute. We're at the halftime, folks. Sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention to the clock. But if you'll give me just a second, I will update the information on our scoreboard. Bear with me just one moment. We are at halftime here in Memphis, where the Memphis Lobos are leading 2 to nil over Chattanooga FC women. Both teams exit the field. I'll pan over so you can see that. I'm not making it up. It's actually halftime. Well, we appreciate you here uh, watching the Chattanooga FC live stream. Uh, probably going to pan out a little bit and just put it on the center field. And I'm going to mute it. We typically mute it during halftime just so that if there's any in-stadium music, that doesn't go through to YouTube. Also, it uh, gives us a chance to swear like sailors up here in the booth and you don't hear us. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute it as soon as I find the button on the interface. And there it is right there.
Alright, so we're back here in the second half, and some of you may have been wondering what this contraption is here. He is filling water bottles with it, so that is a uh, tank of water or some sort of liquid substance, and uh, it's semi-pressurized. Well, it's either pressurized or not. It's pressurized. And so it's coming out of those little tubes, and this way you can fill a bottle very quickly. So, very interesting apparatus. We're going to see this guy watching. Oh, he's washing his hand. Well, that's not a very sanitary use of that apparatus, but anyway, so uh, we just caught a health code violation. Uh, we're about to begin the second half here. I'm going to go ahead and change over our graphic so that it should say second half. And even more importantly, I'm going to hit the record button on the camera. That way I have footage here for later. Uh, also, since we don't have a uh, functioning clock here today, I'm going to actually start my stopwatch or stop my star start watch. Uh, at the point of kickoff. And that way, when I tell you what minute we're in, it'll be way more accurate. And there we go. So, Chattanooga takes the kickoff. We've now reversed sides, as is common in soccer and most sports. Uh, so, here we are in the second half. Chattanooga's going to bring it up that far side. Pushing it ahead, and Memphis is going to kind of deflect the pressure there, push it out of side. Uh, Chattanooga's going to try to collect that ball, and I'm going to zoom in just streaming in uh, HD. We're streaming in 72 uh, pixel resolution, so you should be able to make out some of the players. It's a little bit tough on that far side. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of zooming in today, uh, just because I'm operating every piece of equipment here of the live stream, and so it's a little tough to do all of these things at once while trying to follow the ball. So, we're going to pull back a little bit, and as the goalie kicks it ahead, we're going to try to keep everything in frame but no promises. Uh, a little bit of Chattanooga pressure forces Memphis to kick it up ahead down the sideline. Uh, she looked like she would have rather gone back to the goalie on that one, but didn't have that option. So, uh, they're going to bring it up ahead, get dispossessed. Chattanooga now bring it up in the top of the uh, Memphis side of the field and dribbles it right into a defender. Well, that's not exactly how you want to do it, but Chattanooga's got pressure on that pass. Sky it up there, and it's going to bounce away from the goalie out of bounds. So we're going to have a goal kick for Memphis. And while we do that, I'm going to check the stream and make sure that the graphic changed out like it was supposed to. It did. Awesome. And so now I can resume the action here and be ready for this goal kick. See, there's a system to it, folks. Live streaming isn't hard. If anybody from Inner Nashville is watching, uh, please believe me, live streaming is not that hard. All you have to do is point a camera and uh, point a camera at the action and have the feed going up to YouTube or Facebook or Periscope or, uh, heck, just do an Instagram of it every couple of seconds if you have to. But do some sort of live streaming, people. It's not that hard. Chattanooga pushing it back to the defense. Cosette Marche kicking it up ahead. Memphis going to challenge, but Chattanooga is able to win possession of it back, preventing disaster, and Chattanooga is going to try to bring it up on the near side this time. Uh, we see a lovely little ball girl there in the foreground, uh, but not to distract you from the action, Chattanooga is going to kick it back to the far side. Oh, and Memphis dispossesses, so now they're going to bring it to midfield and see what they can do with it. Oh, she gets past her defender. She's going to have some options here. She gets it over to number 11 at the top of the box. But she doesn't really like what she sees, so she's going to kick it out to the far side. And we're going to see if we can get some sort of a swing in there for Memphis. No, lots of good pressure by Chattanooga. Kicking it out. A little bit of a scrum. Pushing it around. Chattanooga trying to take the ball forward. Memphis is just keeping it ahead of the Chattanooga defend or Chattanooga offense, and now Memphis on the counter attack. Three on three, plus the goalie. Oh, Corset Marche knocks it away with her foot. That was going to be a pretty good set uh, or uh, cross in, 
but Cosette Morche comes up, deflects it away. A lot of quick action. Um, very reminiscent of how the first half began with Memphis uh, putting tons of pressure and scoring within the first minute on Chattanooga. A bit of a wake-up call for the ladies. Uh, Memphis was able to maintain pressure on Chattanooga in the first half, had most of the chances. In fact, I think if we were keeping official stats, which again, that would be one more thing I would have to do because I am here all alone, uh, then I would say that Chattanooga probably had zero shots on goal in the first half. So typically you want a uh, positive whole number uh, in that stat. Chattanooga really not doing that so far. But getting a lot of chance uh, pressure here in the second half, you can tell Chattanooga has made some sort of an adjustment because they are pushing ahead and now we're getting the first Chattanooga corner kick of the game. So uh, for those of you who thought that the first Chattanooga corner kick of the game was going to come in the fifth minute, uh, you win your prize which is to say no prize. Uh, cross in by Chattanooga, pushed up by the goalie, and then collected by Memphis. She skies it up. Chattanooga in position to take possession. But Memphis runs onto the ball, gets it up ahead. No one there on an outlet pass, so Chattanooga was able to take it. But not much of a creative offense there for Chattanooga, so they give it right back to Memphis. So oh, Memphis is going to try to take it up the far side. She likes her options. She's been given some space. Chattanooga is going to run with her and try to intercept the pass, which they did. So now Chattanooga is going to try to collect at midfield, see if she can turn around and get some options here. Memphis giving a little bit more space here in the second half. You don't know if that's a, maybe they've changed their strategy, maybe they're going to pack it in a little bit on defense, or maybe they're just tired because it is hot as fire out on that field. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Chattanooga boots it ahead, trying to get the cross in. Oh, but the Memphis goalie was up to the task. I think I panned a little, or tilted a little high on that. Apologies. I got excited. So what can I say? It was a second or third opportunity of the game for Chattanooga. Memphis now pushing it up that far side. Lots of room. She's going to take it all the way up to at least the 40. Up to the 30. Tries to push it ahead. That was a pretty strong pass. It was going to be hard for anybody to collect that. Uh, somehow Memphis maintained possession though. So now we're going to see if she can cross it in. Chattanooga defenders trying to jump on her there. Take away her options. She's still got a possession. She's in the box. Chattanooga doesn't want to be too strong. And Cosette Morche is able to step inside and grab that cross pass, bring it down, handled it beautifully, and breathe. So now Chattanooga is going to roll it out to the side here, try to bring it up. Yeah, Memphis is given a little bit more room in this half. Um, don't know if that's, again, if that's intentional or if they're just, the legs are getting a little heavy. But Chattanooga seems to have a little bit more space. We'll see if we can turn that into points. Chattanooga pushing it ahead going to bounce over to a Memphis player, and now they're going to set up their offense, trying to kick it ahead. Lots of options. Oh my goodness, this looks good. She's got her one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and Cosette Morche turns it away. Punches it out ahead, just over Chattanooga and the defender on Memphis, so it's going to roll way back there. Memphis is going to collect, try to bring it up to midfield. Chattanooga content to let her take her time with it, and they're going to kick it back surprising both you and me as I was panning forward when I should have been panning backwards. Uh, ball gets kicked out of a Memphis player. This will be a throw in for Chattanooga. Although I'm pretty much describing what you just saw for yourself, so thus begging the question, why exactly would I do that? Actually, that's not the correct use of the term, begging the question. Uh, that was a article I read recently about how most people misuse that phrase. Ball getting kicked up ahead on the far side. Memphis trying to get a little bit of space so she can do the cross. Instead she kicks it out. They're bringing it over to the top of the box. Chattanooga defender with her back heel pass to Memphis. She's got a little bit of room, but she skies it over the box. Another good chance for Memphis. Ooh. Heart stopper there. Uh, as we enter the ninth minute of the second half.
Uh, as you can see by the scoreboard, Chattanooga is down 0-2 to two to Memphis. Uh, this is easily the toughest contest we've had so far this season. Uh, Chattanooga undefeated coming into this game in uh, WPSL action. Trying to maintain their number one position. Well, actually, regardless of the outcome, they're going to maintain their number one position. But they're trying to lock down the conference championship. So, a win today by Chattanooga would lock down, or even a tie by Chattanooga would lock down the conference uh, championship here. Uh, Memphis sits in second place, or well, actually I think technically it's third place, but they've got a game in hand or something like that uh, over the second place team. So basically, Memphis would is the only team that's a, mathematically able to dislodge Chattanooga from the first position. Memphis would have to win every remaining game, including today. Chattanooga uh, simply has to win one more game out of their remaining uh, three-game slate. And any one of those in victories, or even, I think, a tie, would give Chattanooga the points advantage, an insurmountable points advantage, and win the conference championship, the first conference championship in team history. So we'll see if the ladies can get back into this one and get some points. Memphis bringing it ahead on the near side, getting some space, pushes it up ahead, but the Chattanooga defender was there to get to the ball first. Back over to Morshe. She's just going to pooch it out to midfield. That's a pretty good pooch. That's is, that is more of a, a slam. Ugh, running out of adjectives here. Um, actually, that wouldn't be an adjective. That would be a noun. Sorry about that. Oh, goodness. My grammar is so bad today. So here we go. We got Memphis at the uh, on the Chattanooga third, trying to push it ahead. Got a little bit of a wing, but she's bringing it in at a, at a decent angle. She's going to try the shot herself, and Chattanooga is going to turn it away. So we're going to bring up our I don't, I don't know, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth Memphis corner kick of the day. Tons of these things, um, and yet we have another one here. Oh yeah, I'll take a Gatorade. Thank you. Tom brings me a Gatorade, and I will open it, and I will drink it on camera because I don't, I don't have standards that are that high. I will totally let you guys hear it. And here we have Memphis uh, lining up for this corner. Pops it in, very high, very high, and a little bit to the outside, hard to control. Tried the header, had a defender right in front of her. There was really no way she was going to get that, at least not on purpose. Accidentally, she could have gotten something, but uh, skill-wise, that would have, that's probably too much to ask for. Uh, good position there by the Chattanooga defender. So now, Moshe is going to bring the ball up for the uh, goal kick. And I'm going to center the camera a little bit better. There you go. You're welcome. And she's going to rear back and probably boot this one down. Yep, she's waving the defense up. No real options in the uh, near side. So she's going to boot it up. Oh, it did drift to the near side. Uh, going ahead, she's going to push it back and see if the keeper can clear it. Uh, not much of a clear because it went right back to Chattanooga. She's going to try to sky it over her, but she, she, well, she succeeded. She skied it over her, the goal, uh, the football goals, just about everything here. But hey, you know, law of averages. You keep doing stuff like that, eventually you're going to get a goal. Uh, as we enter the 13th minute here in Memphis, Tennessee, or Colliersville, Tennessee, uh, we have uh, the ladies down 0-2 uh, to in, in the hole to Memphis. Memphis Lobos. Again, Memphis keeper trying to clear it. Didn't catch that ball quite as well as she would have. Really kind of skied, but it went out of bounds off Chattanooga, so Memphis is going to do the throw in. Try to scoot up the sideline a little bit. Do that throw in. Chattanooga's going to challenge. Memphis, player, dances through. Gets a good pass off. This is going to be an interesting uh, attack here. She's going to try to cross it over. She does. But Chattanooga's there to boot it away. We're going to see another corner kick for Memphis. Stop me if you've heard that before. Oh, they're saying technically it went to this corner, so I'm going to pan the camera over so you can see that corner. Look at that. Uh, she's going to do it short. Didn't have a lot of options in the box. Chattanooga challenges. Yeah, 
Uh, somebody's going to clear it? No, she's just going to try to push it up and see what we can do. She saves it. It goes down the line to a Chattanooga player. Two men on her. Tries to bring it up, see if she can get a little bit of space so she can get out of trouble. Nope, dispossessed by Memphis. Now Memphis has an opportunity here. Going to go out to the side, see if she can cut it back in. Defender comes up and slams it outside. Another Memphis corner kick. And let's see, I just want to let everybody at home know that I did remember to hit the uh, record button on the camera here, so you're welcome. I'll have this footage later, even if we were to lose our internet connection. We could put up a copy of the video on YouTube. Ooh, that was dangerous. All right, so what uh, just happened there was a big looping corner kick. Uh, Memphis player caught it on the foot, tried to push it right back in. Cosette Marche was right in her face and collected the ball. But a lesser goalie might have let that one through. Chattanooga kicks it to the outside and it goes out of bounds. So now Memphis does a throw in on the far side. And they're just going to take their time, set up back here. No real hurry for Memphis now. As they've got a uh, two goal lead. And they've had most of the possessions here today. I mean, they really haven't been challenged too much by Chattanooga. Uh, Chattanooga trying to get a little bit of clearance here. Going to go back to the goalie. Let her take a look at things. Memphis gives her time. Moshe kicks it back to midfield. Chattanooga tries to collect. Memphis gets it up to Chattanooga, though. Uh, pushes it ahead. Nobody there. Memphis D gets it. But she doesn't clear very well because it goes to Chattanooga. Oh, she tried that pass ahead, just couldn't quite get on it. 16th minute here in the second half. Watching the Memphis Lobos playing the Chattanooga FC women. Oh, a little bit of a Memphis turnover there. Chattanooga has some options. If she can get a little bit of space, getting it ahead, not much. Not quite enough power on that one to get it up to uh, Chattanooga striker. Good challenge at midfield, though. Wins the ball back for Chattanooga, pushes it over to this near side. We're going to load up and try it again. Oh, dispossessed. Well, there you go. That's kind of been the story of the game for us so far. Just can't quite get any separation with the ball. Memphis doing an excellent job of jumping on the Chattanooga ball carrier whenever there's... Um, Whenever there's a decision to be made, basically giving or taking away a lot of the options for Chattanooga. A lot of it's just been booted and pray. Uh, it's kind of been the offensive story for Chattanooga today. Hasn't really, hasn't really netted any goals. All right, so we'll push this one back to Morche. Chattanooga defense. Oh no, here we go. A little bit of a turnover. This is going to turn into something. <laughs> One on one, Chattanooga defender comes up. Oh, off the bar and headed out. Not quite out, still stays in play. Chattanooga and Memphis scrum for it. Chattanooga kicks it up ahead. So, sometimes better being lucky than good as the crossbar shows and saves Chattanooga from being down 3 0. Memphis trying to get around that corner. She kind of gives her the shoulder, gets a good uh, cross in. Woo, goodness, another shot. Could have gone in, but she skied it a little bit. And uh, that one went pretty far. So now we're going to get a new ball from the ball girl. There she is right there. She's just playing kickball a little bit. Finally get her attention. And there's the ball back to Chattanooga. Yeah, that's right, honey. Keep running. It's over there under that scoreboard that isn't working. As Chattanooga sets up for the goalie kick here. It's a goal kick. I don't want to say goalie kick. As Morshe kicks it up to midfield. Well, not quite to midfield. More to the outside there. Uh, saved inbounds, though. Kept inbounds by Chattanooga. Pushed into the center. Uh, intercepted by Memphis. Again, they have some numbers. Uh, Looked like somebody might be offside, but she kept it herself. Oh, goodness. As we go down, I'm going to swing back to the middle. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so that I can 
change the scoreboard graphic. 0 to 3. Submit. Submit. All right. So, yeah, defensive turnover there by Chattanooga uh, gave Memphis numbers. Um, one of the uh, Memphis players was uh, did run off upside, but the ball carrier decided not to pass it, uh, pretty alertly understanding there was an offside in, in progress. So she kept it herself, took the shot, and got it right in. So Chattanooga here with the kickoff, maintaining possession. Going to have to get a little bit more aggressive here if Chattanooga hopes to get on the board, maybe climb out of this hole, get back into this game. Now one interesting note that we didn't bring up earlier, um, should Chattanooga and Memphis end the season in a, uh, in a tie on overall points, uh, one of the deciding factors would be goal differential. Now currently Chattanooga has like a 9 or 10 or 11 uh, goal differential advantage over Memphis. But of course, uh, today's match is slowly eroding that. Oh, wow. Morche with the excellent save. Memphis with really good pressure here. And trying to get a little bit better angle. But the uh, flag goes up because I think somebody was offside. So, Chattanooga bailed out again by Morche. Um, wow. Well, that's, that happens when you get aggressive because, again, being down zero to three, you got to try something, and what that something will sometimes lead to is coughing up the ball and putting your goalie out on an island. Um, apparently, somebody just uh, saw the goal on the live stream. Maybe I know there's a 30 second delay, so that guy just just heard it or saw it or something. Cross in, uh, Moshe was able to kick it back out or punch it back out. Ah. Uh. Memphis with the cross, very high, tries a header. That's not going to go into the goal, but it will go into a dangerous position. But Chattanooga collects. So we're going to swing it out to the far side. Memphis is, uh, I think they're sensing they're probably going to have a good result at the end of this if nothing else changes. So their fans, all four or five of them, getting a little unruly here. As Chattanooga brings it up, tries to push it ahead. Memphis steps in front of that pass, intercepts it. So now they'll set up. Not content to sit on that lead. They're going to bring it up the near side. See if they, again, Mr. Boom over in the uh, sidelines. And Chattanooga taking it back up to midfield. Looking for some good options. She's going to swing it back over, get the pass back, and Memphis is going to dispossess and push it back to the defense. I think I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I know the ball's on that far side, but I'm having a little bit of trouble tracking. Pushing that ball ahead. It's going to go. There's a little bit of a race for it. Who can get on it? Memphis has it. Defenders take up a position in front. Try to dispossess. A little bit of shoving. No call from the goal or from the uh, ref. Play on. Chattanooga has it. Trying to collect themselves in their side of the field. Memphis intercepts. Again, Chattanooga having to send some ladies up ahead just to try to generate some offense. Oh, I get what's going on. All right. The boom guy that you're hearing over on the side, what that is is... That gentleman is not actually a fan of this game, or if he is, he's doing a really good job hiding it. There's a, we're at a high school field, and there's also track and field implements all around the field. And so there is a gentleman who's practicing shot put. I'm not joking. And so uh, I guess as his ritual of congratulations when he does a very good putting of the shot, uh, he, he exclaims loudly, uh, boom. So hats off to you, Mr. Shot Putter. Not all heroes wear capes. Chattanooga looking at a uh, free kick there on the foul. Coming in, two ladies ahead, and neither one of them able to get on it. But it does bounce over to a Chattanooga player. Memphis dispossesses. Looks like that's going out of bounds. Another good shot put off to, the, to our right. Meanwhile, 
We have the action, the throw in going on on the far side. Oh, 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 a little bit of a substitution here. Chattanooga going to sub out the goalies. I believe that is Krasaniak. Say that one five times fast. Oh, and we're going to have a water break because again, it is hot out here. Um, this is this is very uncomfortable weather to play soccer or to uh, shot put in. And we're going to take a water break. We're in the 25th minute here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, as you can see, the score is zero to five, uh, with the uh, Lobos leading the Chattanooga FC ladies. I'll just pan over here. Uh, the sun is starting to get behind the trees behind us, so we're starting to see some shadows on the field. Hopefully that's going to cool things down. You can see, oh yeah, earlier we were talking about how the uh, unsanitary conditions of everybody. Look at that. That's a, that's a ref. Put, uh, hopefully he's not putting his mouth on that. So we'll see. Yep, see? That's how a pandemic gets started, ladies and gentlemen. That right there. See, this lady knows what she's doing. Put it in your water bottle. Don't let it, don't get saliva all over it. All right, well, but sometimes you get a little delirious from the heat. You don't use good proper sense. It's the way it is sometimes. So now with new goalie in the uh, box, Chattanooga will take the field, hoping that in the next, uh, let's see, what, 45 minus 25, that's probably about 20 minutes. Uh, Chattanooga, see if they can get back in this. Actually, we're in 26 minutes, so even less time. 19 minutes to go, plus some stoppage. We haven't really had a lot of stoppage. Um, a few minutes for this water break has really been it. Uh, so there we have Krasaniak, Krasaniak in the uh, Chattanooga goal. I'm going to pan in just a little bit. She's gonna. Well, she isn't gonna. She isn't gonna get much warm up. And we'll track back over to the left for the action. And here we go. We're gonna get ready to resume. And yes, I do have the scoreboard graphic correct for everybody who is wondering. It is zero to three. <sighs> Several, or something, shot putter giving us an update on his progress. And Chattanooga with the throw in on the far side there to a Chattanooga player, which that's an improvement over a lot of the throw-ins we've seen today. Uh, midfield, Chattanooga, lots of space. Memphis is packing it in right now. Oh, couldn't control that pass. Memphis ahead on the attack. Chattanooga trying to, de to deny the angles. Gets in front of the passing lane. Takes it away. Now Chattanooga with some time. Harley Banks taking the outside shot just wide. Although the optical illusion of a single point camera made it look like it was on frame, it was in fact just wide. So, ball girl's going to chase that down. Uh, the ball, uh, the goalie's going to pick up one of the spare balls and take the goal kick here. Up ahead to this near side. A little bit of a challenge. Chatting wins it but pushes it out of bounds. So, Memphis will take the throw in. Here in the shade, a little bit cooler in the shade, although that black top has a lot of heat density, so it's still going to be radiating a lot of heat on this side. Memphis here getting challenged, Carly Banks running up. At this point, what you're really hoping for is that Memphis makes a catastrophic error that Chattanooga is in the right place for to take advantage of. Woo! And that's, that's always the trade-off right there, that when you push up and try to get those uh, uh, the more aggressive offensive chances, that leaves you open for the counterattack. But, got 11 people on the field, you can, you can get away with that. Because, of course, that, of course uh, uh, Krasiniak was able to come up and deny that shot. So, score still stands. We are in the 29th minute, just entering the 29th minute. Probably won't have a lot of stoppage time. That water break is about all we would get credit for so far. Um, and that would probably net us at most about a minute. So not a lot of stoppage time that we're anticipating. But again, we still have about, you know, what, 26, 27 minutes? Sorry, 17, 16 minutes. 
but Chattanooga's going to have to uh, win some possession here and take it down in order to get back on the scoreboard. She's just going to sky it ahead, and Krasiniak is going to collect it. And I'm going to get excited and pan too far to the right and take, almost take you out of the action. I apologize. Chattanooga pushing it ahead on this side. Pass a little too hard, loses possession. Well, we're seeing a real difference in our passing in this game. Uh, some of that might be the personnel mix we're here. We don't have don't have our ideal crew right now. Uh, not all the ladies were able to travel. So again, hopefully when the game comes to Chattanooga and these two teams face off, we'll see a different uh, see a different mix and hopefully a different result. But what we have right now is a little bit of a foul just outside the box. Chattanooga is going to try to set up a wall before Memphis will take their uh, free kick. And I'm going to pan out to try to get the action. And there she kicks it. Oh, goodness. Well, quite a good free kick. Right around the wall. Gets just inside the post. That's another goal for Memphis. So what that means is I turn the camera to midfield and then I press a button here, choose file. I browse through my many files that I have access to and I say yes, that graphic right there and I submit it and it uploads it to the website and in just a moment you should see the new score. So, Memphis has now taken a four-goal lead going into the 31st minute of the second half. Well, at this point, uh, Chattanooga is really just trying to play to kind of close this goal differential. Because again, as we said, uh, one of the things that Chattanooga is concerned about is uh, locking down the championship, the first place championship for the conference. And in order to assure that, they're going to need a victory or a tie in one of these games. But should that not happen, uh, they could still survive on goal differential. Of course, that's being eroded here today. So getting at least one or two goals is going to uh, help us out in that respect. So uh, what have we got here? We've got a little bit of a substitution on the part of Memphis. I think Chattanooga is going to take the throw-in, I believe. No, it's a corner. Awesome. Well, then she'll be able to put the ball down, get set up. The ladies will get up onside, and as soon as she boots it, they will all rush in, collide with one another, and maybe the ball will go on the goal. Or that could happen, you know, where the ball curves away from the goal, and nobody's really there in position to put it back. So... We're on the far side, Chattanooga maintaining possession, pushing it up ahead. Uh-oh, but losing the handle on it going out. Now Memphis will collect it. And Memphis will do a substitution here, eating into the precious seconds of the clock as we near the 33rd minute. So about 12, maybe 13 more minutes left in this game. And... We'll see if, if we can uh, do something outstanding here. So Memphis is going to throw the ball in. Chattanooga challenges, takes the possession away. But nobody runs on top of the ball, so it rolls to a Memphis player. <coughs> Memphis bringing it up the near side, as you can clearly see. Booting it ahead. Oh, there's a Memphis player in position, but guess what? That little flag right there tells the story. Keeping it from getting embarrassing. So, Chattanooga will now take the free kick here at about the 20. Krasiniak lines it up. Looking at her options. Going to boot it ahead. Quite a leg there. It's going to go down. Bit of a collision. Ball comes loose. Uh, Chattanooga trying to run it down. Memphis, oh, she didn't swing it to the side. She takes it up. And now pushes it over. Trying to go down that sideline. That's a tough sideline to get down. So, Chattanooga throw in. A little bit of shoving and bumping. Ball to Memphis. 
Well, regardless of today's result, we want to thank everybody for watching the live stream. Um, all joking aside, uh, we really do appreciate everybody's support. Um, this is the first year we've been able to live stream all the games. Um, either Chattanooga streams them, which is the case in most games, or the other team will stream it. But so far, this season, every Chattanooga FC women's game has been live streamed uh, for your enjoyment. So, and much of that has come because of the uh, generous support from um, Chattahooligans, from fans, from family members of players uh, contributing money, also buying uh, uh, season passes. If you buy the season pass, uh, you also get access to the live stream. Um, there's also a way that if you wanted to uh, get a pass for individual games, you could do that through our Patreon account, and you could sign up that way. So we want to say a thank you to everybody who's been supporting uh, the Chattanooga FC women uh, and their live stream this year. And with the success that we've had this year with the live stream, uh, we fully intend to continue uh, live streaming all the games and uh, in all the in future seasons. As we see a little bit of pressure there, but Krasiniak comes up and gets a little sat on by the Memphis uh, player. But that's okay. So she rolls it out. Uh, Chattanooga going to take it up the near side. Trying to get past that defense. Little, oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. You see the frustration there. And you can hear it in my voice. Uh, that looked promising, but it just kind of skipped off the back of her foot, went out of bounds. Uh, Memphis is emptying the bench here, uh, trying to get some ladies some extra playing time. Uh, this game well in hand for the Lobos. And uh, 23 there, stops the ball from going out. Chattanooga's going to challenge her, so she'll kick it back. Ball swinging back to the defender, going to bring it up, push it through the middle. Lots of space there. Chattanooga uh, steps in front of that pass. Ball gets batted around. Oh, goodness. Every time Chattanooga challenges for it, it just seems like there's a Memphis player backing up the play, ready to take possession, even if uh, Chattanooga dislodges it. So... But hats off to Memphis. You know, they've played a very athletic game. They have frustrated Chattanooga all game long. They've been in, in uh, the ladies' faces, haven't given them much room to operate. You see a rare cross going in. It's actually going all the way across, and so we might see a double cross back in. Oh, I need to get this, the camera centered. There we go. She fires it in. Uh, defender gets on it, and it looped over. Again, from our vantage point, that almost looked like it was going to catch the corner, but it was an optical illusion. That actually was probably about three or four feet wide. So the Memphis goalie will line up on that far side for another goal kick. I will tell you that the time is the 37th minute here of the second half. So not a lot of time to work with. At this point, you're really just trying to um, get a couple of easy chances. Maybe, uh, maybe Memphis is sort of uh, got their second personnel in there that maybe they're not as good. Uh, the ball went out of bounds, so that's going to be possession Chattanooga on the throw in. Uh, yeah, you're just hoping for some maybe uh, some easy chances. Maybe with Memphis trying to close out here, maybe they let up. Maybe Chattanooga can get one or two of these in, try to close that, or try to extend the goal differential. A shot from Chattanooga, that was actually on frame, so... We haven't seen a lot of those, maybe one or two the whole game, so not a lot of offense generated here. Uh, but like we said, that uh, should Memphis and Chattanooga end up tied at the end of the season, it would come down to goal differential as the tiebreaker. Currently Chattanooga has a big lead, but they're about to surrender four goals uh, if this score holds. I'm sorry, five goals, or no wait, four, four goals. Double check everything, make sure I've got it up right. Yeah. Four goals if uh, we have a nine goal. We have a nine, currently a nine goal. After this game, we will lose four of those if this score holds. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for that Gatorade and for that goal differential update. Chattanooga putting it ahead into the box. Nobody home, so it rolls straight and free into the uh, possession of the keeper. So Memphis taking their time. Oh, didn't get a good solid hit on that. It's going to drop short here. She's going to have to work it through. 
She does. Memphis is going to push it up ahead. Oh, nice header by Memphis. Going to go ahead, see if they get a, a foot on it. A little bit of a wrestling match going on. She's not going to give her a free shot, that's for sure. See if she can bend it back in and Chattanooga intercepts. So, again, you can see the frustration. All that work for naught. We're going to toss it in here for Memphis. She's going to try to take some, take a spin there. Dispossessed. Chattanooga's now going to try to push it ahead. And push it ahead she does. She boots it out to the far corner. There's a little bit of a foot race. Chattanooga has the ball, waiting for some help, waiting for some help. So she's going to push it in herself, see if she can get a cross in off the head of a Memphis defender. Man, that was close. That was, that was the right idea. In a scoreless game, you know, that's, that's exactly, you want to stay in there just fighting. That, that could have been the difference right there. However, when you're down 0-4, to four, I think Memphis is okay with giving up a few of those. Uh, Chattanooga taking a shot from the top of the box. Collected pretty easily by the uh, Memphis keeper. As we enter the 40th minute, not a lot of time. As the shadows creep across the field here in beautiful Colliersville, Tennessee. The goalie is going to push it up to midfield. To Carly Banks, Chattanooga. She's going to try to get a little bit of space. She's going to kick it back to another man. Who brings it up? Trying to get some options. She swings it out to the side. See if we if we've got somebody on the on the receiving end of that. Not really. Again, just not enough help there. Not enough bodies in the box. And Memphis is going to issue another substitution here. Number five going in for uh, not five. And we're going to have our we're going to resume with our goal kick here, Memphis. Let's see. Now Chattanooga is playing pretty up, so Memphis is going to just boot it out, try to get some distance on it, and it's going to roll free. I don't think it touched anyone. So now Chattanooga will have the throw in. Header over into midfield, trying to uh, jump for it. Memphis wins possession, but Chattanooga is going to try to steal it here, push a little bit of pressure on her. Up ahead, foot race, number five for Memphis. This is the new girl. Don't know her name, but she's got fresh legs. Pushes it off to number 23, trying to get an open look at the goal. Chattanooga steps in front, swinging it out to the side. And we're going to have a corner kick. over you can see everybody starting to line up in their line I'm gonna actually zoom out a little bit so you can see both the goal and the kicker going over to Morshe so tries to boot it in Morshe is up to the task she's gonna collect it and put it ahead into the midfield challenge there by Memphis they win it uh, now taking it up ahead again Another opportunity for Memphis, but turned away from Chattanooga just as I had let it go out of frame. Sorry about that. It was a pretty amazing defense, uh, defensive stand. She basically planted her leg in front of the, of the Memphis girl and uh, clocked her and took her momentum away, and then the ball just rolled to the side. So Memphis here still with the uh, opportunity, trying to slot it in from the side. Krasiniak grabs it. Down the far sideline for Chattanooga. As I read you the time, we are in the 43rd minute, ladies and gentlemen. Pushing it ahead. It gets through there. Will the flag come up? Oh, goodness. Good defense by the, by the goalie. Oh, I might have panned a little bit past the action. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Got very excited. I was looking to see if the flag came up, and I was just turned it a little bit too much but basically what happened was we had a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie goalie came up and tremendously took a ball to the face to keep that one from going in but she can put some ice on it and it'll be better in the morning uh, we're at the 44th minute not a lot of time here Chattanooga just trying to get a good opportunity get a point on the board on that far side two or three ladies in the same area trying to get a little, little bit of space.
cross over, no one home, even if that uh, the best cross in the world isn't going to do anything if nobody's there to accept it. So, we're running here into the 44th minute. And it's going to be a corner kick. Looked like that ball was pushed outside. So, um, Chattanooga will get a corner kick on the far corner. Chattanooga's not really bringing everybody up here, but they're just going to do a about five or six ladies. Oh, but it, it was a well-landed cross or kick from the corner. Just got pushed to the side. Couldn't quite collect it. Didn't really have time to set it, so just kind of booted it from the air and went, went wide to the left. So about 30 more seconds on the clock, plus about a minute maybe of stoppage. Although I wouldn't be surprised if this one just ended straight on the 45. Uh, a little bit of a foul. One of the few fouls we've seen in this game. Um, Chattanooga going to take a free kick here. Probably going to send it into the box. Uh, a lot of times on these, if you can just get it close, get a lucky bounce, you'll have an opportunity here. Header goes uh, too far. Couldn't quite control that header. Not going to be a chance there. So, Memphis is content to let the time tick away. We are now into stoppage time. Uh, any second now we're going to see this one ending. So, I'm going to go ahead and queue up the graphic. Oh, and I should pan it a little bit while I do that. But any minute now the ref should probably... Put that whistle in the mouth. Booting it up ahead for Chattanooga. Does have a lady there. Oh, off her leg. Couldn't quite get it. Couldn't collect it. So, goal kick back to Memphis. She puts it ahead for the defense. Chattanooga intercepts. A little bit of lazy uh, late game uh, goalie play there. But otherwise, she, I mean, she's got a clean sheet. So how much criticism can you really make? But... Um, Chattanooga will have, nope, I think Memphis has to throw in. So Chattanooga's going to get down here. Hopefully they can intercept it, get a shot off here before the time is called. Again, we're not expecting very much stoppage time, about a minute or so. Once possession turns over, you could hear the whistle blowing soon. Chattanooga's going to collect, try to push it up the line. Uh, foul called. All right, so we're still playing on. Chattanooga will get a free kick here. Let's see, we're lining up. Uh, two or three ladies down in the box. Let's see if we can get something here. She lofts it in. Oh, a little bit of a chance there. It did bounce uh, near a CFC player. She wasn't quite able to get over to it. Well, yeah, we're about two minutes into stoppage time here. A little bit more stoppage time than I would have imagined. Uh, I guess the ref is counting um, uh, some of that water break time and uh, some of the many, some of the many uh, uh, stoppages we've had for chasing balls and things like that. We haven't really had any injuries, so haven't lost a lot of time for that. Had a a good deal of substitutions that we lost some time on, but those aren't typically called. Well, there's our whistle. So, this one's in the record books, folks, and not in a good way. But we appreciate you watching. Um, here we have the final score where the Chattanooga FC ladies have uh, been defeated for the first time this season in their WMP or WPSL season. Uh, they have gone down to the Memphis Lobos with a score of 0 to 4. So that's our final score here in Memphis. We appreciate you watching the live stream. Again, we're going to have a game um, uh, next week, and we'll return to Finley Stadium. So we appreciate you watching the live stream. Again, all of the games this season are live streamed, uh, home or away. So if you are interested, you can either use your season pass to watch the live stream, or if it's an away game, uh, just follow us on Twitter, and you'll see the, uh, the link when we post it out for that. Again, I'm El Conductor. I thank you for watching, and go CFC.